friends, I am your friend from Learning Kill Friend YouTube channel. Hope you're doing good and safe. Thank you so much for your support and valuable comments. Climate change refers to long term shifts in temperature and weather patterns. Such shifts can be natural due to a change in the sun's activity or large volcanic eruptions. Climate change can affect our health ability to grow food, housing, safety, and work. Some of us are already more vulnerable to climate impacts, such as people living in small island nations and other developing countries. So, in this video, we are going to learn about some countries that are threatened by and more vulnerable to climate change. on the planet according to the University of Notre Dame's country. Vulnerability studies due to flooding affecting the poultry, conflagration and famine affecting the whole country. Threats are a recurring natural hazard in Chad that may become worse with climate change. The country has a high prevalence of endemic diseases such as malaria and suffers from every mix of cholera, measles and meningitis. Repeated droughts have had substantial impacts on Chad's agricultural production and have affected up to 2.4 million people. Persistent drought has also aided in the acceleration of des desertification in the northern part of the country, causing agro-pastoral areas to decline and livestock grazing areas. Second, Somalia. Due to drought and political problems in country, IRC experts that more than 8 million Somalis could suffer from famine during the year. Famine propelled by conflict and climate change threatens millions in Somalia. Somalia is suffering one of the most acute humanitarian crises in the world. A crushing combination of conflict and climate change has left millions in jeopardy of starvation as famine again stucks the land. effects of climate change on water resources in Somalia have been discovered to include rising temperatures, variations in precipitation patterns, and an increase in the likelihood of floods and droughts. Third is Syria. After a decade of war, a drought and an earthquake in February 2023 had caused the Middle Eastern country to be considered as one of the countries with the greatest problems in dealing with climate-related shocks. Human needed climate change was and continues to be a major factor in the longevity of the Syrian conflict, stemming from extreme drought in the region, which contributed to late large scale migration and displacement, and aggravating the already unstable socio economic conditions and increasing risk of agriculture. Syria is exposed to heat waves during summer and spring. Fourth one is Democratic Republic of Congo. With more than 100 armed groups vying for the control of the country, multiple diseases such as malaria and Ebola is affecting the large parts of the country. Famine has increased even further with the increase of floods in recent months. More extreme weather events and changes in total precipitation and rainfall variability are likely to exacerbate these challenges, particularly since agriculture, the majority of which is rain fed, is a central engine of the DRC's economy and the primary source of livelihood for most Congolese. Next one is Afghanistan. Since the vision of the power of the Taliban regime, international aid has disappeared from the context where the country has been suffering from drought for three years and the rest of the Afghanistan has been suffering from flooding. Extreme rainfall will increase due to climate change, which could lead to landslides. The basin of the Kunduz River has seen a decrease in precipitation of 30% since the 1960s, which is compensated by increasing glacier melt. 
leaving families desperate for ways to find food. The FAO said last month that 18.8 million Afghans are unable to feed themselves every day and by the end of the year that number will be 23 million or nearly 60% of the population. Next, let's come to South Sudan. One of the world's youngest countries, created in 2018, suffers from severe complications due to severe flooding at the end of 2022, affecting more than 900,000 people. Floods have worsened over the past years as South Sudan is suffering increasingly from the consequences of climate change. Floods are affecting every year between 750,000 and more than 1 million people, forcing half of them to leave their homeland to higher grounds. In recent years, up to half of all countries in South Sudan were affected by the floods. Jongle, Unity and Upper Nile states are the hardest hit, representing three quarters of the affected people. Samtone is Central African Republic. The political crisis has led to serious health problems with diseases such as meningitis and malaria affecting the population. But the biggest concern comes in relation to drinking water with diseases such as cholera has been found in its reservoirs. The Central African Republic is at risk to numerous natural hazards which are dominated by floods, wildfires and droughts. Temperatures across Central African Republic are expected to increase and projections show a change in annual mean tech, increased security and natural resources such as water and cattle grazing ground could exacerbate competition over land and fuel in intercommunal tensions and conflict between herders and farmers. Next one is Nigeria. In 2022, 2.5 million people were affected by the floods which destroyed much of the crops in their path. Nigeria's climate has been changing and this is the evident in the increase in temperature variable rainfall, rise in sea level and flooding, drought and desertification, land degradation, and many more frequent extreme weather events. Increasing climate variability in Nigeria is causing more intense and untimely rainfall, adding to land degradation, flash floods, landslides, and gully erosion have worsened across one of the 10 most vulnerable countries to climate change impacts. Ninth one is Ethiopia. Drought is currently affecting 24 million Ethiopians in what is the sixth year without rainy season. Ethiopia is one of the most vulnerable countries to climate change. This is not only because the country is prone to drought and floods, but also because the majority of Ethiopians, 80 to 85 percentage, depend on agriculture and patrocerium for their livelihoods. Climate change related health problems such as morality and morbidity due to floods and heat waves, vector bone diseases, water bone diseases, meningitis and air pollution related respiratory diseases are increasing Ethiopia. The last one is Bangladesh. This Asian country has experienced more than 185 adverse weather events in the past 20 years. 75% of the country is technically submerged and therefore any rise in the sea level severely affects the habitability of Bangladesh. From a prehistoric age, Bangladesh has faced numerous natural disasters in every decade but due to climate change, the intensity of disasters has increased. The country experienced small to medium scale floods, cyclones, flash floods and landslides amount every year. Rising seas, floods and intensifying cyclones are just a few of the impacts that make Bangladesh one of the most climate change vulnerable countries in the world. So hope you got some information about some countries that are most affected by the climate change. Like and share with your friends. Don't forget to give a valuable comment in the comment box and please subscribe my channel. It's learning with every friend. Thank you. Have a nice day.